This is a presentation comparing two formalisms for knowledge representation and the semantic web. On the left you have DL that stands for description logic and on the right you have OSF which stands for order sorted feature logic. The common aspect is that each formalism is an object description formalism. Each is based on logical semantics. Each enjoys an effective proof theory. Each can make this effective proof theory become a constraint solving process. And they allow for recursive concept definitions. There are some distinguishing aspects. In description logic, we talk about roles, which are relation. And in order sort of feature logic, we talk about features, which are functions. In description logic, we make a difference between sets and individuals. In OSF logic, there is no difference between sets and individuals. Individuals are often referred to as extensional sorts. And there are some possibilities in description logic where one can specify cardinality constraints on these sets. But are these differences real differences? Can they be reconciled? Well, in fact, the three that we just cited are cosmetic differences. Roles are just set valued features, essentially functions that return aggregates. Individuals are also singleton sets. And cardinality constraints can be expressed as lazy aggregates. Is there anything that cannot be reconciled? Yes. One essential difference is explained by lattice theoretic duality. Basically, description logic works by computing a least fixed point inductively. On the other hand, OSF logic works by computing a greatest fixed point co-inductively. Now, what does it all mean? Well, picture a complete lattice. A complete lattice is basically a set with some approximation ordering, some accumulation binary operation called join, and some elimination uh, operation called meet, a least element called bottom, and the most or highest element called top. So you can picture it as an egg, basically, where the lower elements are at the bottom and the upper elements are at the top. Then you stick a lowest element and you call it bottom and there's a, no, a dually, a topmost element that you call top. And then you can consider a function of L onto itself that respects the ordering and this property is called monotonicity. So a monotonic function is any function from L into itself that preserves the ordering. That is, x approximates x prime, therefore f of x must approximate f of x prime. Now, a very beautiful result due to uh, Tarski is that the set of fixed points of f, that is a subset of L that are mapped to themselves by f, is itself a complete sublattice of L. This is a theorem due to Alfred Tarski, the Polish uh, mathematician and logician. Now, so that means that there's a small egg inside the big egg, and then the small egg is in all respects uh, of the same structure as the big egg. It has a bottom element, which is a fixed point, a topmost element, which is by definition also a fixed point. But the nice thing is that if you start from bottom and start accumulating successive powers of the image of F or bottom, then you essentially end up in the limit with at least fixed point, which is bottom sub f. And duly, if you start from the top and start eliminating successive powers of top, starting from top, you essentially, in the limit, get to the greatest fixed point. And that is a beautiful result. Now, how can it be useful? Well, it explains induction as opposed to co-induction. Induction, which is based, uh, or what description logic is based on, is any process that computes eagerly start to, to, to enumerate finite sets by starting bottom-up from the leaves and proceeding upwards to the root. 
Well, the opposite can be done as well by co-induction, which is what OSF logic is based on. It is lazy, that is, it doesn't do anything that is not needed. It therefore can accommodate infinite sets, uh, recursively enumerable sets. And it's a top-down process that computes a greatest fixed point because it proceeds from root to anything. It doesn't have to be a well-founded process because it is lazy. So, what are the main difference? The, the main difference is that the two formalisms are formally dual. Description logic is expansive, it expands things, it's expensive, it is very costly and limited. It can only describe finitely computable sets. On the other hand, OSF logic is contractive, it eliminates things, it's efficient, it's based on graph uh, unification, and can also describe recursively enumerable sets, which is more expressive, in particular infinite sets. And which is why OSF logic should be a better suitable candidate to do most of the semantic web challenges. Thank you very much.